Okay, I'm just going to record this. This is a uh, a heavy attack of uh, pulses, and I'm just really going to record. I'm being cooked. Look at those spikes. Um, oh, this is good evidence. Um, so something's targeting me. I've got um, oh dear, five thousand. I've got um. It's a shame the camera can't pick it up. I've got this sonic sound just directed at me. It's uh, audible. Uh, it's not audible outside, but it's audible in my room. So I can't pinpoint the sound. So I'm just. I'm not sure if it's a uh, audible noise or it's a uh, digital noise. And I've got this pulsing now, and I'm just. It's freezing cold and I'm sweating, and I ha I'm not ill. It's uh, this is magnetic. This is this is measuring the magnetic uh, and microwaves. So I've had had these uh, pulses going on, um, and I wanted to record it. Uh, right. So that's in decibels. It's quite low. That's milliwatts. But look at the spikes. Uh, the bar in on the right is recording the last thirty seconds of activity, so it's um, pulsing. If you can see it, um, I'm not sure how fast it, this meshes but I don't think it's quite capturing it live it's catching the tail end of the pulse but it is recording it of the you know the the uh, frequency fl fluctuations uh, but it's a very low current and I'll measure the uh, electromagnetic as well which is low. So the highest recorded is 39 points. Uh, so that's quite a high, heavy spike. And considering I'm, I'm not near any mobile, uh, telephone mast, cell towers, uh, the nearest cell tower is about a mile away, as far as I know. So you won't get a reading of 39.07 from from that from this range. Uh, so I'm completely speculating, but I think I'm going to go outside and see if I can see anything. Trouble is, it's late. Anyway, I'm very glad I captured that. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm going to record it for too long, but I am going to leave the meter running. And I'll switch the camera back on if there's any extreme changes. But it's very, it's, uh, very low at the moment. It's typical. Before I got my camera, it was. Um, a different a different story but I'm burning all over my skin is burning I think of all the consequences of the people who inflict this 
and they've got to face all this all, the, all, all that that they put out on other people is going to go around and return to them it won't be just one as they've done to one person it'll be all those people and they'll be getting it all back at once themselves so they'll be getting their uh, dividends uh, and it's quite worrying that people aren't afraid they don't fear the consequences because they don't believe them so therefore they're just when, they, when they're met because then the uh, revenge is sweeter for the Lord because they were wicked and they never repented I've never had this pulse like this I've never caught this before and that's not just um, default activity because def default activity is uh, I, I, I take a reading quite often and it's never like this it's consistent, it just stays on the same number around about. So this is showing, showing a pulse. Um, these little spikes. Although it's very low, but aren't these weapons supposed to be uh, low level frequency? See if I can get um, a measure, I can measure the frequency of what, what's being transmitted. Point eight gigahertz, two no megahertz. Uh, yeah, one point nine gig, me, one point eight gig. Uh, so it's fluctuating. Ah, so we're going from eighteen, then it's going up to nineteen, then twenty, then it's going back down to seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, then it goes back down to seventeen, eighteen. second time and uh, to do a, a scientific measurement so I've got two witnesses uh, the battery's good um, roughly the same location no more than 300 meters away uh, getting uh, 800 megahertz that's the cell towers and it's Pulsing, so that's probably just normal cell tower activity. It's quite low because so I'm quite away from the source. But as you can see, it's pulsating. I'm just coming out of the green zone and into the hot zone. Uh, so I'm going to walk and talk, and I'm also going to share, share some thoughts. And uh, so, excuse the movement of the camera. Um, and we get some readings. I'm just across the road now, <laughs> and there was a massive spike. I wanted to catch it. Right, I'm going to walk and talk. Um, What I'd like to do is uh, include some thoughts on my heart and mind and uh, while I walk taking readings and, and I intermittently film what I've recorded if, if, if there's a, an increase in activity. Um, I want to give some thoughts on addiction really and 
a way of establishing what, well, what's actually scientifically true. Now, now there's two, it's like two sciences, there's a full science and there's the, the accurate model science. Now, uh, the proper um, way of, or philosophy of science is by evidence, by establishing lawful witnesses. And there's the fake science, which is to bolster up criminal activity and give it um, something wrong, legitimacy. And I'm going to talk about just some um, observations that I've made with uh, uh, tobacco, the tobacco industry. And um, I've learned these through since, since growing up from the 70s and seeing the markets change. And it's something that interested me at the control of it and, and the whole world and everything, you know, all, all the, that's associated with it. So I'm going to give you some thoughts. These are things that I've investigated. It's a very, very difficult thing to, to find all the evidence, but it's out there. I'm not going to present the evidence because this, this is kind of what I want to include. Because until you do that yourself, you can believe something, but until you have evidence to confirm what it is you believe, it's not going to register so much and you can be overturned with it by somebody who's got more knowledge than you. So I'm going to share these things and invite people to go and investigate the facts. Now nicotine, the tobacco industry was dominated and it goes back to the about the 18th century. And this is the powers behind the forces today. And they wanted to dominate the market and bring it all into, you know, like one, one conglomerate. And that's what's been achieved. And to do that, traditionally, tobacco, there was no additives. So all these things that give you cancer and that you agree to take are additives. And these are added to the actual production of tobacco. Now, I've investigated, if you want to purchase pure tobacco, you have to go to the source. And there's very few outlets, there's about probably two or three products that are additive free. They add uh, antifungicides into the product and, that, and, that, and you can trace the evidence where this comes from. This comes from breaking the old independent model of tobacco farmers who cured their tobacco in barns and the longer they left it they leave it for years and they they um, have a long-term strategy so they, they harvest one crop and that will be left to mature and then it, they would have other crops that they would be selling that, uh, so they get ahead of themselves and then start releasing one, once they've built up a, some froth on their beer and they would scrape the top off and all that beer would always, always be added to producing more froth and they scrape it off so this is what the industry wanted to control and then they introduced all these laws and measures oh you've got to do this if you want you know and then they play it's all bad for you uh, well sm I'm not going to defend smoking and nicotine addiction but the the bad things of it the things you agree to allow them to add and you to accept it and, and pay all the tax and get stirred up all in the health problems and everything so that was one of my thoughts. Just going to take a reading. Uh, we're in the green zone. So therefore, um, tobacco is it's a dichotomy of lies and it's regulated and I'd like you to investigate that and you need to look at the uh, EU the tobacco production and all the records you can find and, and once you've established the actual facts and I'm not saying that these documents are still available because uh, people buy up the information, digitalize it and then they get ownership of it and destroy the original and then suddenly this information disappears because they don't want the world to, to let you in on the the sort of little secrets and the shortcuts that are being played. And it's the same with medicine. Ooh. Same with the pharmaceutical industry. And that's another thing I'd like you to invite you. You know, I can't force anybody, but I, I would like to invite people to just to examine, examine the evidence of, the, of what I'm saying with tobacco medications, if that's something you're not aware of, if it's something you have faith in and trust in. Um, 
just to question and, and to, to analyse and to measure and to establish that which is true for yourself and this is partly what I've had to do and this is all I'm doing is sharing those tools because you need you need the knowledge you need the evidence you need to establish those principles to see it for yourself then you can then it will register but without that registration, that confirmation, you're going to be blown about like a crisp packet in a gale. So it's down to us. And I've, I'm a person who's really struggled through life. And there's no one, no one around to pick you up and help you. You have to learn, you know, you, when you're under the cosh of it, you've, you're the one who's got to pull your socks up. There's no one else who's going to do it for you. And so I'm like to encourage people that, you know, this, this empowers you to do, the truth sets you free. And it's an enjoyable, wonderful experience, although it's very sad and heart rendering. It, we're, we're on the right foundation it, it, it's um, a wonderful life experience to be you know to be learnt from and appreciated anyway let's get some readings right it's quite low here so I'm 200 meters where I took the readings the other day and we're not any I'm not in the orange zone because I walked up the hill and it started to get um, the volume started to get louder so I'm um, not at parallel with that point so I'm going to turn off the camera and when I reach that point I'm going to switch it on and then I'm going to walk back a different way the exact way I came last time and I'm going to take uh, the readings to, and then compare the two and then I'll probably do that maybe three or four times to have a you know to have a scientific um, um, witness to establish and and see if it you know if there's a consistency in um, high radiation levels or if it, it, it it's just fluctuates or it can be turned up and down you know I, I don't know I'm seeking the evidence and this is what I'm recording so we're quite low we're in the green zone and I'm going to turn off oh, the sun's in my eyes okay I am standing 200 meters from the high activity I was the other day so we're out just out of the range of the cell towers not really getting a strong enough signal to pick up the transmission frequency so it's so in the built-up area today it's in the it's in the lows it's very safe it's much higher than um, where I live but it's still it's still low, so you could say today it's acceptable levels. Uh, the other day it was un unacceptable. So my question is, you can argue today, oh it's all safe, but let's have a look at how much the activity fluctuates. You know, on a high, uh, an active day, how much energy is that going to draw on on onto the surrounding housing estate? So I am just going to give you those thoughts to consider. Um, like I said earlier, science is used falsely. Um, so it, it's... Oh, I've got it on hold. Hang about. Silly Billy. So I was getting an in inaccurate reading there because I had it on hold. So I'm going to take a, another measurement and I can get a... Oh, it is low, and the sun is in the, uh... so there we go, it's a low. So I am going to give it a while, and then I'm going to go to the hottest point, and take another reading today, and then I'm going to compare that over time, to see, to hopefully, um catch both hot spots and cold spots and then when you work out the average you know you can get a good idea of the um, if I could take a me constant measurement I could get an accurate reading of, of you know the whole the whole picture because I'm only in taking intermittent readings and not really, it's not really be able to gonna get, give a clear picture but some idea uh, of the uh, fluctuation of radiation so it, like I say it's quite low today okay I'm a hundred meters further closer to the source and we're 
it was in the yellow uh, a second ago before I turned the camera on so it's a little higher here the highest spike has been three points um, when I started the highest spike was five points but that's a very quick burst that's not a con continual see that little spike there it's like that they're intermittent the signals are intermittent so it's getting higher here anyway so like I say I'm about 100 probably 150 meters from the hottest spot and uh, I just saw it increase I thought I'd record it right, I'm now 50 meters closer as you can see we're in the yellow so There it is. Give another pan around. It's in a built up area. The question is, is that safe or is that unsafe? Depends which science you, you trust and which science you measure and which science ends up being the right one. There can only be one truth, there can only be one, you know, one accurate measure of what's going on and one answer to whether it's harmful or not. Now I've done my research, I don't need to convince anybody because I've been convinced. So look at that reading. This is this is permanent. So the uh, people are exposed to this permanently and even staff at the supermarket are in the range of this permanently. I don't know if the actual building will block some of this out. The building might have protection from that sort of thing. I don't know. I didn't take a reading inside um, inside the shops. Um, but there it is where I'm standing. And the highest is 11 so far. So I'm going to continue measuring and uh, take a stroll and make my way home. doesn't match the pylon, that's interesting. It's 900 megahertz. They're, they're um, allotted to 1800 megahertz, as far as I can determine. Right, okay, I'd just like to give some concluding thoughts on the things I've spoken, uh, the, 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 the evidence, how people prey on our ignorance. Uh, there's a, some counsel in the Old Testament to the, the Lord's people, uh, the, the Jews, he said, uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge, uh, lack of information, lack of truth, lack of understanding. Um, and the powers in the world play on our our weaknesses, our ignorance, our our addictions. Whatever they can take advantage of, they, I mean, the co collective evil. Anyone who's got that that motive in their heart is part of that evil. Whether whether they think they're separate and their own boss is um, another matter. It's a united affront on freedom and people's rights and truth, um, and that's. Basically, people prey on your ignorance. Uh, look at the me medication, the tobacco industry, the pharmaceutical industry, and now, and, and now, in content context of my video, the information about um, cell towers, how they work, how they operate, how safe they are. Oh, don't worry about it. They give you these little 
um, sound bites and oh it's an official story it's got the stamp of the scientist on it therefore don't worry you know go back to your little world and don't worry about it we're not going to allow, allow those we wouldn't allow those things to happen and then you see the well, when you examine it you see the motives completely a lie and it's false and they they just say that to appease the ignorant and so it's your responsibility to you know you're we're all responsible for our actions whether we were you know um something happened to us unjustly that doesn't make our uh, the things we do wrong just so but everybody's accountable for their actions and, and and everyone will be a hell to account by the by the lord jesus christ and that's why i'm just pointing my camera up because he's he's gonna he's gonna appear for his his, his bride and he's gonna remove all the people that that he saved and that care and that pray and that can see these things and share these things and warn all the other people that are sharing these things but those people haven't got Christ so they're not established so they're going to get sucked up into the the left and right paradigm they think they're fighting right but they're just being used to you know uh, further ferment the evil so um, heads up uh, be aware of that. Ooh. Just thought I'd catch those little helicopters going. Well, I know where they're going. Um, to the air base in that direction and there. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up there and uh, invite people to, who, who don't know to, to examine, to question and to research for your own, your own sakes and your own loved ones' sakes. That your um, knowledge equips, knowledge empowers, it, it, you know, it, it shows you where your weak defences are so you can um, patch up those weak spots and be aware of them and be vigilant and to be equipped with the information you need to get by and to avoid those pitfalls and those snares and those you know those machinations and pitfalls that are set up right in front of the ignorant and, and people and people are taken advantage of by these calculated cold-hearted people who justify what they're doing so um, I'd like to invite that and uh, anyone watching I'd just like to wish you well I'd like to thank anyone who's you know prays for me supports me um, God bless you and uh, um, help you and guide you and um, keep you safe and uh, I pray that this reaches somebody it helps somebody and that, you know that's my motive to share what the help I've received, you know, that love, where does love come from? You know, it, it comes from God and, and, and that love is expressed by many, many actions, even, you know, people you don't think are any good or, you know, the, the Lord works through all, all good things. But it's his goodness, not not ours. You know, it's a, it's a gift. We've been given the ability to do good, but we're evil. We're selfish, we're sinners, but we've got consciences and we've got um, good qualities, We can, uh, but we're ungrounded, we're unframed in the right, the right complete. We need the author of life to be founded on, otherwise our good is temporary, we'll lose it, it'll go and we die and we'll have nothing. So you can do a load of good works and and it will come to naught. You need to be founded on, on the author of that good. And it's his good works that you're doing, not your own. Um, so I'd like to uh, just mention a bit about, I, I, I wanted to leave my comments open, but I've decided just to shut them up, to block them. So if anyone, you know, does want to contact me, you, you can privately contact me if you really need to, uh, if you, or, you know, you feel like you need some help or some advice, I'll be happy to help. I, 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 my time's limited and another reason I stopped the comments because I'm getting information, I've got so many comments and then only two or three appearing and 
I haven't really got the energy and the time to um, respond to all comments and I don't like to be rude but um, I, I can't afford to expend myself and that will distract me from the things I should be doing and so uh, for that reason I've blocked the comments but um, you know if you want to you want to you want to put up your own videos and uh, if you've got an issue with anything I've said and you want to deal with it, you know, make a video and send me a link. Um, I'm just sharing what what information I have, um, and I openly invite people to examine what I, you know, what I'm learning about, what I'm examining for yourself. And um, so, over and out, and I hope everybody's doing fine. Anyway, anyone watching, and uh, I'm gonna end there.